my gosh, guys. Okay, so I totally forgot to post a video yesterday telling you guys what your week two challenge is. Um, but I guess that's why you're my guinea pigs because I'm going to be making mistakes throughout this two months. So hopefully I will try my best to be more consistent. I'm actually going to film some stuff today so that way I can have stuff ready for next week. But this week's challenge, this video is going to be so short and sweet and to the point because um, I want you guys to have it, you know. Um, and just because it's a day late, it doesn't mean that I only want you to do this for six days. Ideally, I'd want you to do this every single day. So, with that preface, your week two challenge. Wah, 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 wah. I don't know what that was. Your week two challenge is going to be tracking your sleep. So, um, what do I mean by that? Um, I really mean anything with this. So, what I normally do, I'll just kind of give you guys my spiel. I, um, I have an app on my phone that's an alarm, but it's called Smart Alarm. Um, and I can, I don't know if I can link it down below, but I'll try. I don't know. I don't know that I'm technologically savvy for that. But um, Smart Alarm, it basically just, like, I mean, it's like any other alarm. You set it for, like, 6 a.m. or whenever you wake up. Um, mine's set for 5. Uh. Um, but anyways, uh, life of a trainer, I guess. Um, so you set it for whatever time you have to wake up. And then um, the nice thing is, is that when you hit, you hit a button and it says start. And so from that point on, it'll track your sleep. Now, you can put this on your bed. And it'll not only track your sleep, but it'll track the amount of like deep sleep or light sleep you had. So if you were tossing and turning, there's a motion sensor on your phone basically that will tell, or that will, it'll track it to see like how good you're sleeping. I don't use that um, just because I feel like it's weird to put my phone so close to my face. But I put it like on my, uh, on my desk next to my bed. So um, that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to download that app or download some sort of app or anything like that where you can track the hours of sleep. That's the nice thing is that um, it tracks the hours and you can keep like as much data on that app as you want. Um, sometimes you have to delete stuff because it takes up space on your phone. But the nice thing is, is that I usually do it monthly so I can see like um, how many nights or how many hours of sleep I'm getting per night. Um, sorry, I'm like super jittery because I had way too much coffee. <laughs> but that's another story for another time. Um... Yeah, so you can track, like, it shows you how many hours you slept each night, how many of those hours were good hours, and then it gives you a monthly average. So at the top, it'll say, like, for the month of June, you've slept an average of five hours a night, which is not good. It's not enough, <laughs> just so you know. Um, but that brings me to my next thing. What are you looking for? Or what am I looking for for you guys? Um, sleep's super important. Sleep helps with recovery. It helps stress. Um, it helps decrease your stress levels and your cortisol levels helps regulate your hormones on the topic of cortisol, and um, all of those things will promote weight loss, obviously, and helping you build muscle. So um, you want to try to get around seven or eight hours a night. Now, I will preface this by saying that some people need less and some people need more. So what I want you to do in addition to the, excuse me, just ate lunch, um, what I want you to do in addition to the um, the app or tracking how many hours you sleep is um, keeping a journal. So keep a journal and just in the morning, I mean this can be on your phone, this can be on a notepad, whatever's easiest for you, I don't care. Um, I want you to write down three things like how, how you're feeling, if you're feeling energetic or if you're still tired after waking up or after sleeping, um, if you feel like dehydrated or any sort of things that you notice. Um, if you dreamt, if you got up in the middle of the night, how many times you got up, I don't care. I just want you guys to be more aware of the quality of sleep that you're getting. So sometimes people can get six hours of sleep, but it's really quality sleep, like really condensed and they're not waking up a lot in the middle of the night and that's completely fine. So, um, and then on the flip side, some people just need more sleep. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I want you guys to do. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. If you don't want to use the app or you don't have a smartphone, that's totally fine. Um, what I would say is just like, look at what time you went to sleep. And then obviously you have an alarm. I'm sure that most people have alarms. So look at the time, like say, okay, I went to bed at 1037 and I'm going to wake up at 523. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that specific, but I want you guys to be as specific as possible. Um, just so that you know how many hours of sleep you're getting. And then let me know how it goes. So yeah, um, that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs>